keeping meeting minutes or detailed notes of meetings is an essential part of running an organization. Minutes provide those within the organization with a resource to keep track of what's occurring or catch up on things that they have missed and assure those on the outside, including regulators and auditors, that the organization is meeting its legal duties. Let's take a look at how meeting minutes should be created. But before we start, were eForms the biggest database of nearly every kind of document that you can imagine? Make sure to watch to the end of this video where we'll give you a link to a meeting minute template for you to start filling out online. Let's get started. First, whose responsibility is it to keep meeting minutes? There are really two answers to this question. The first is the person within the organization who is tasked with keeping the minutes. This is usually a clerk or secretary whose job description includes attending meetings, taking minutes, and developing a system to store and make them available for future use. However, the responsibility to keep minutes falls on the group or company itself. The fact that the secretary or clerk is not present for a board meeting does not remove the need to take minutes. As mentioned earlier, taking minutes of board meetings is not just beneficial, it's required. It's a good idea to develop a system naming an alternate person to keep track of minutes in the event that the designated clerk or secretary isn't available. Once a person to take meeting minutes has been identified, the next thing to consider is how to take notes during the meeting. In general, the best guide is to break up minutes into sections that mirror the agenda of the meeting, including attendance, old business, and new business. If the meeting includes an opportunity for non-members to address board members, it's a good idea to include the speaker's name and stance on the issue. Finally, the vote of every board member on every issue during the meeting, whether procedural, like moving an issue to a different stage of the meeting, or substantive, which as whether to pursue a new fundraising initiative should be noted. After the meeting is completed, the person responsible for minutes will take those notes and turn them into a finished product. How much detail should the minutes include? This is a balancing act and there is a lot of discretion for organizations. There's no need for the person taking minutes to be a stenographer recording everything that gets said. Sometimes board meetings will be taped or even live streamed, which makes it less important to get down every word. Indeed, creating such lengthy detailed minutes might be less than helpful for someone like a board member who missed a meeting, who is looking for a quick overview of what transpired. The person taking minutes should also be careful never to include any of the organization's confidential information in the minutes. And while minute takes should never be dishonest, they should be thoughtful about incorporating information that reflects poorly on the organization, because in the event of an investigation, minutes can be accessed by authorities. We're eForms, the largest online database of legal forms and documents. Click the link here to get your fillable document or go to our website to search our thousands of free templates.